two very inspiring talks here about what's going on in um, Kurdistan and in um, Spain. So um, I think we're still struggling a little bit with the Skype. Is that right? We, is it, we, we haven't got it together yet on the Skype. So what we suggest we think we should do now, basically, is to do a little question and answers um, with Mehmet and Sirio. So if there's anybody that would like to ask questions um, regarding the first two speakers that we've just had, um, if Mehmet and Sirio would like to come up, perhaps. And um, if any of you've got questions for either of them, um, I'll pass you the microphone here. Just a quick question for David. How does it relate to the Catalan referendum? How does it relate? How does the claims relate to the Catalan movement? Well, Podemos defends reclaiming sovereignty at all levels. So therefore, we will be for the rights of the Catalan people to decide whether they want to be part of Spain or not. Anybody else? Um, I think I should have uh, made a little, little bit clearer. Um, the, the system that's been created is gender, gender libertarian. Um, so it uh, puts women at the forefront of civil life and says that the, uh, uh, the exclusion of women uh, from uh, civil life, especially in the Middle East, has led to the current predicament that the Middle East faces, basically. Um, and the unearthing or unveiling of women in the classic sense, the women stepping out onto the streets, taking part in the uh, armed struggle, taking part in all uh, levels of administration, means that automatically uh, the, the, the society will democratize because it's women who were the first oppressed nation or enslaved nation of history. Um, and going on from that, uh, the Kurdish movement have autonomous women's movements um, and women's armed groups within the structures that they've created. So, especially in Rojava and Kobani now, um, uh, women make up about 30 to 40 percent of the fighting force and fighting on the front lines, as well as the other three cantons. Um, and it's been well publicized. Uh, you know, uh, the Western media has uh, kind of sexualized it or tried to appropriate it in a negative way, but a lot of media has also shown it in what it is. And essentially, it is a, uh, it is a, a very um, a strong struggle uh, against ISIS, uh, against this, you know, brutal fascistic, really, uh, uh, mentality and movement, but also against all the preconceived uh, ideas about what it means to be a woman in the Middle East and what it means to be a woman in general. Action are very different, but uh, what Podemos is doing now is surrounding itself by 
economists like Vicente Navarro and a few other people of um, high, highly skilled academically. And, uh, and the manifesto again is that these people are going to propose ideas and those will be voted by the whole Spanish society who wants to vote in order to um, decide which are the best measures to try to implement once we get into power. The main, uh, I know this might sound a bit abstract so far, but the main lines of Podemos is reclaiming institutions to serve in the interest of citizens, not in the interest of a political, economic elite which has been so corrupt for the last few years. So uh, I cannot give you a specific program yet because that will be voted itself, but it goes very much in that line. That answers the question. Started later, so we have to go. So, just one last question, please. Surely, the real history of the world is that capitalism dictates over all of us and that democracy is complete fraud. But this year, we've seen two major coups one in Kiev, one in Thailand, none of which is ever mentioned by any of the people talking about democracy. And the history since the end of the Second World War is that anyone who ever gets anywhere near socialism by democratic means will be overthrown by violence and coups. You can see it in Chile in 1973, you can see the same thing happening again in Venezuela now. So really we should be talking about establishing some form of power that allows the working class to build democracy, which actually means establishing the dictatorship of the working class, surely. It needs a revolution. All this stuff about democracy is a fraud. It's disarming the working class and it's heading them off. The whole of the Middle East is dominated by capitalist and imperialist interests and, and endless coups must that we impose the rest. So all this stuff surely is a fraud. Uh, I think I can I can I say I I think there's a question there. In the sense that I mean, I'm giving this example a lot these days, but at the end of the Communist Manifesto, there are a set of demands, right? And at the moment, all but one of those set of demands or expectations are commonly agreed upon by even, you know, liberal capitalist individuals and countries. The only one is the private ownership of the means of production that hasn't been accepted or put into place. So I think that says a lot about what you just said in terms of one day, what we're talking about now today, hopefully, if the struggle is given and the resistance is shown, the ideas, the measures, uh, the level of equality that we all uh, desire and dream of will become so common that it will be absurd to even talk about it. Now, how that will come about is through struggle, yes, but also it's through disarming, disarming your enemy as much as arming yourself. And arming yourself can happen um, uh, in, in many ways. I was at a, uh, I was at a uh, uh, um, uh, Occupy Democracy demo and a man said, you know, uh, there's lots of similarities between us, but we're not using arms. You know, we're not fighting, we're, we're against war. Um, and I said, yes, fine. Here, you can protect yourself using other means. You can defend your ideas, you can defend your uh, physical being using other means. But in the Middle East, where people are under attack by uh, hitmen, basically, and I do agree, they are hitmen of international finance capital, yes? Um, hitmen, um, uh, people have to defend themselves using arms. They have to take up arms to defend their existence, to defend their ideas, to defend their, their, their system that they're creating. Uh, but what's important is to be able to open up a third way, because the way of local dictatorships didn't work. The way of Ba'athist regimes didn't work. It didn't work in Iraq, it didn't work in Syria, it's not working in uh, Turkey. No, no, it's not. Uh, this is the thing. Can socialism be attained with the dictatorship of the proletariat? Can it be? What other way is there? There is. See, this is what I was talking about before. States and state power 
ultimately corrupt because states are inherently about the appropriation of surplus value. The history has proven this. So um, the, the third way is the way of the people, and that is the way of organizing from the bottom up, organizing your structures, uh, putting into place your institutions. So this is what we are going to do. Thank you. <laughs> So Syria is going to reply here, and then we're going to move on. Just, just very quickly, probably not talk about Chile, because that'd be quite a long discussion. Uh, I just want to say, maybe I'm far too practically minded, but I think while it's very good, it's full of revolution, and the ideal world we want to build, we still have the real world to deal with. And I don't see a revolution of the sort you're talking about happening anytime soon. Well, what I do see is... What about the democracy we have? It's highly, highly perfect, and it gives us only a very narrow room to maneuver. But there is a bit of room to maneuver, which is proved by the fact that somebody like Podemos, who's a complete outsider to the system, has managed to find a way into the system. And that is something that can happen. From within the system, we can change bits. Whereas I don't see the revolution you're talking about happening anytime soon, and yet we're still dealing with a human crisis, which we need to solve. So I think while you can talk about all these revolutions and how great they're going to be, we're going to be trying to solve people's issues. Yeah, let's give it a go now. 